called the Seafood Wash Guide. And it'll tell you what's good and what's not good if you do choose to eat seafood in a way that's, you know, thinking about the fish. Uh, but I could use papa, sharks, all day, but I say that a lot. I'll go crazy. Uh, but I don't come up recently where I'm feeding one of my sea turtles over here. This is the reason we're feeding her up here is because the folks in the turtles over here, they're feeding elsewhere. And if we weren't feeding her up here, she'd be calling the divers around looking for food. And we are trying to feed up here. You know, giant tarpon and moray eels and things like that. The last thing you need is a 500 pound sea turtle seeing what's in your food bucket. So we can distract her up here. Uh, she weighs 550 pounds to be precise. She's about 80 to 90 oh, uh, years old. But uh, with that being said, I still have a bunch of time up here with you all to answer any questions. So, like I said, if you have joined us recently, my name is Chris. I'm an educator. So, does anybody have any questions? Sharks, sea turtles, giant ocean tank, anything? Any questions? Anybody has any questions? Raise your hand if you have a doctor's degree and a read bio. Read bio doctors, yeah. So, I mean, does anybody have no questions? I'll peer pressure people. It's fine. Uh, you also joined us recently and you're wondering what this weird thing is over here. This has been one of our turtles and she's not going to the town block. Yeah, so, check out the big uh, I mean, all four of the turtles here at 10 o'clock. I do. But sometimes one of our turtles will be thinking when she needs to come. Um, for our 10 o'clock meeting. So this is designed for the smallest sea turtle we have in the exhibit. Her name is Ari. She's a Kemp's Ridley sea turtle and uh, she's target trained. So this white disc right here, I'm trying not to fall in, is her target.